So welcome. I'm always so um, grateful to have this time to presence with you in this way. So standing here, we're going to have a Qigong uh, session this afternoon after all that deep heartfelt sharing. Feel your feet planted on the ground and give yourself permission and give yourself a plentitude of space to really be in the Qigong state of mind. Okay, and find your breathing. Just equanimous, deep and soft, in and out. And now just bring your right foot in so it's more on your central axis and cup your left fist with your right palm and lift your left foot. And we're just gonna kind of floss the joints a little bit. So we're gonna circle our left ankle a little bit and circle our wrists a little bit and allowing yourself, and if you need to, you know, put the kickstand down and lift it back up a couple of times, of course, that's quite all right. So we're opening up space, opening up, you know, to the necessity for change, opening up to what energy feels like when it's done its work inside of us, when it's accomplished itself, and when energy is ready to move on. Opening up to the somatic realization of what that means for us. Okay, left foot down, and now make a fist with your right hand, cap your right fist with the left hand, lift the right foot, and then floss the joints a little bit. So what does it feel like somatically when, when you're ready to move on, when you're done with a past cycle and you're ready for the future? That's what's, that's the exquisite opportunity that we're all being handed right now. So we're gonna presence into it here at that somatic level. Just a couple more flossings through your joints. Lightening anything that has become heavy in your being, in body or mind or spirit. Calming anything that has become frantic and tapping into your depth for vitality and radiance. Good. And then bring your right foot down. Step your feet nice and wide and bring your hands into one fingered Zen mudra. So curl your middle ring and pinky fingers in towards the center of your palms. Extend your index fingers up and seal your thumbs alongside, alongside the index fingers. And relax your hands alongside the thighs. And you may want to keep the inner lines of your feet parallel, as I'm demonstrating right now, or you could have your heels in and your toes out, bringing your body into a little bit of a deeper squat. Either way, it's great, okay? So find the place that feels most uh, fruitional for you. With the one-fingered Zen, we're gonna bring the right hand in front. So we're gonna work with shooting arrows, which is a really great essence for a time that like, like right now, that we're finding ourselves in, where we wanna be focused, where we wanna be fresh as we emerge. Okay, so have a little bit of space here between the wrists, and we're gonna shoot the arrow to the right, keeping the hands in the mudra, shooting the arrow to the right and looking beyond the tip of your right index finger. Now on a long axis of the spine, we're going to rotate the other way. Now pull the right hand back. Be very aware of how you're moving the chi. Pull your right hand back and push your left hand forward, setting the gaze beyond the tip of the left index finger. And reversing, shooting the arrow the other way. So pull the left hand back and push the right hand forward. And let's do it once more. So twist, and then push the left hand as you pull the right hand. Beautiful. And just feeling into the confidence, the competence, and the clarity that arises bring your left hand in front. The confidence, competency, and clarity that arises when, when your brain and your body 
are rewiring through the practice and beginning to fire in harmony. So we have our left hand in front and we're gonna push the left hand to the left. Keep your shoulders square, keep your belly soft, keep your buttock bones grounding as if they are sprouting roots. Now twist on the spine and push the right hand as you pull the left hand. Opening your heart, opening the center of the brow, twisting on your spine. Pull your right hand back as you push the left hand forward, opening. Good. And then twist. We'll let this be our last expression of this form. Push the right hand out as you shoot the arrow and pull the left hand back. Inhale, 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 inhale. Feel your heart and your head and your hara all open. There's a good teacher, Hari Jivan, and he says, we want to be accused of having open minds. <laughs> and I love that. Bring both hands. We want to be accused of having open minds. This is the right thing to be accused of, right? <laughs> so rest your hands here for a moment in front of the mid thighs and just bob before we step it back in. Feel yourself standing upright, full stature, self-organized, remembering your power, being in touch with your inner authority. Inhale, look back. And exhale out an open mouth. In the Qigong state of mind, in that agility, flexibility, plasticity, softness of now, the power of this moment exquisite intimacy with just this moment. Step your left foot in, and then your right foot in, good. And then ground the hands. So we're gonna work with eagle wings here. You know, we're stretching our eagle wings. And when we, as you know, as somatic practitioners, when we are stretched by a new sensation, or when we're stretched by an idea, uh, our whole being at every dimension um, expands. A lot of us were using the word expansion. We were talking about expanders. Um, when we are stretched by a new idea or a new sensation, we expand and we very rarely shrink back to the old dimensions. And again, that's the allurement of this time as we create new, as we create new structures for the future. So I'm going to give you two iterations for this eagle spreading its wing. So we'll do the first expression together a few times, and then maybe you want to stay with that. And then I'll give you the second expression, which you'll have the choice to move on to if you want. Okay, so let's all, for the sake of using every minute together as fully as we can, step the right foot out to the side, and then step your left foot behind the right foot. Place the back of your right hand at the back of your right kidney, and then pull the chi up alongside the body, up alongside the ear, up to the sky. Feel roots growing out of the balls of the feet and then reach. Looking up, I feel like every time I meet with you with this group there's some big siren that passes by. <laughs> All right now reach your left arm out to the side, reach the right arm out to its side, step the left leg out to the side, and then bring the right foot behind the left. And feel your stature, again, standing upright. Left hand, bring the back of the left hand to the back of the kidney, and then draw the right hand alongside the body, your body, up alongside the ear, up overhead, and feel how, like the bird in flight, every filament of this gesture is lifting you up out of the latitudes of the lazy boy chair that so many of us have felt so sort of stuck in in so many various ways during this past year. Lifting up out of the latitude and longitude. Now reach the right arm 
reach the left arm, see if you can lift your heels. Moving towards what brings you joy, open heart, open mind, open heart. So you can stay in this, okay? So tucking the foot and then reaching. Otherwise, stepping the foot out and come down slowly and consciously into a squat, which could maybe just be a couple more inches down. Otherwise, you could go down as deep as you want, down into a squat, and then coming back up. Now I'm gonna bring my left leg behind my right leg, tuck the right hand, and as if I'm going to throw a chi ball, I'll reach the left arm forward, and then bring the left arm down alongside the body, and trace it up, lifting, 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 life force up through all of the filaments of the innermost being, and then reaching. Good, now reach the left arm out to the side, right arm out to the side, step the left leg out, maybe come right into the eagle stretches its wing, or sit down into a squat, maybe a small squat, letting your body, letting your mind be stretched by every sensation, by every idea, by every feeling, and then slowly coming up. Ah. And right foot behind the left leg, left hand behind the left kidney, and throwing the chi ball. Ah. Moving more and more in the direction, friends, of unapologetic living. As practitioners, we want to really remember that perfectionism is not our friend. So as you are moving, don't overthink it. Just let the forms move you. Don't be attached in any way. Reaching, 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 reaching. Don't be attached in any way to what you think it should be doing for you, or what it should look like, or any, any of that jazz. All right, now reach the right arm. Coherence. Bring the hands into the hara, settling into your breath. And take this moment before we move on to the next form to, at a very honest, no nonsense kind of a level, tune in and ask yourself in this emergent time, you know, am I. Am I inspired by the vibe that I'm emitting? Am I inspired by the passion that I'm projecting? And am I inspired by the beauty that I'm creating? So with that, at that no-nonsense level, Nasty, practice is a beautiful, powerful context for practicing this kind of inquiry. Because when things start moving on the inside of the body, then things start moving on the mind, and then things start moving in the whole of the life. So just listening in. All right, so we're going to work with an old fave that we haven't utilized in a long time in IP, and that's the rooting four form. So we're going to do single hand and double hand forms. Um, so just a few uh, techniques um, to speak to here. You'll start with the palms of the hands tucked in alongside your hips, palms up. And as you root, you're going to reach, you're going to penetrate and pierce forward and down on a diagonal. So it's a moment of diagonal force. Pierce and then circulate in much the same way that we were working with the flossing at the beginning. You're going to floss one circulation of the floss and then tuck the hand back in. So this can be done with the legs, especially if you're fatiguing on any level. You could keep the legs completely straight. You could bend in a kind of qigong stance, or you could practice the rooting bore in the squat. It's entirely up to you, okay? So palms of the hands um, tucked alongside the hips. Let's work with the left arm forward. So pierce and then floss and pull it back in. Pierce, floss, and pull it back in. So do this a whole bunch of times. Now be a, a real somatic explorer and check it out. 
Where is the movement originating from? Are you doing it all from the shoulder to the hand? Are you trying to just um, compartmentalize the gesture? Or can you bring it up and through? Can you thread it out of the belly and through the extremity? Okay? So pierce, floss, and tuck. Pierce, floss, and tuck. Pierce. Rooting board. This is a beautiful form that helps us tap into that energy of willingness, drive, and desire to go ahead and rotate your left palm up now to clean out right hand, to clean out the basement and attic areas and to jackhammer into the subconscious mind. So the subconscious desires and the conscious desires are very uh, effective, purpose-driven team inside of your psyche. Couple more. Pierce, floss, and tuck. Pierce, floss, and tuck. If your thighs happen to be burning, let it be, right? Use the context of your practice to believe big time in who you are becoming. Of course, no one's going to believe in us if we don't believe in ourselves. And so get both hands up. And this is, in my views, a perfect place to work with those expanders. So feel into how it's coming out of the belly and out to the ends of the extremities and back into the belly. So pierce, floss, and tuck. Pierce, floss, and tuck. Couple more. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. How you do one thing is how you do everything. Cap your shoulders. So have about a half an inch between the bottom of the palm and the top of the shoulder. We're going to isolate on the left side. Still working with a downward piercing uh, diagonal angle. So exhale and inhale. Coming through the core and out to the ends of the extremities. Exhale and inhale. What is the vibe that you are emitting? What is the passion that you are projecting? What is the beauty? that you are creating. Exhale and inhale. You know, the people who are switched on in their life are the most magnetic in every dimension of their life. Let every breath switch you on. Flip the switch. Exhale and inhale. precision and focus. This form is also really compatible with the shooting arrows. Now we're going to switch. Right arm helping us to cultivate the agency of focus. What is it feeling like somatically when the old used up no longer energy has done its work. What does it feel like when it's pushing at the boundaries of your being and ready to move on? Good. Both arms. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Every movement matters. Be longevity oriented. Have there be no extraneous, unnecessary nuances. But let everything that should be there, be there. All of that kind of space. So three, two, and one. Good. Now step it back together. Mm. Breathing. exquisite intimacy with 
here and now, the present, the power of presence, the purity of presence. Feel your spine charged with the confidence and competence, competency and clarity that the chi is delivering. expression because I want you to be able to go um, all the way into it but you know if you only want to do a part of it or a fraction of it or you don't bend the knees as much or some such thing it's all good remember perfectionism is never your friend in the in the these learnings of um, in the somatic journey so watch I'm going to demonstrate and then I'll practice it with you and I will speak to all the articulations, okay? So, I'm gonna reach my dragon tail, my arms are my dragon tail. I'm gonna reach them forward with the palms of the hands facing up and I'm opening my heart and I'm hanging my head back in trust. Now I'm gonna normalize the gaze and bring the hands together and I'm normalizing the gaze to such a degree that I can feel all of the bones of the spine stacked up. So that means the bottom of the chin is tucked in just a wee bit towards the pit of the throat. Now I'm gonna bring my dragon tail, the tips of my fingers, to the right as my pelvis shifts to the left and I'm dropping my bottom ear towards the hand and I'm also looking to the left. And now I'm gonna flip my dragon tail out and draw it through the core of the body and reach it out to the side. Take it forward, sit into it. Bring the palms of the hands together. Take the dragon tail to the left and push the pelvis to the right. Drop the ear, the bottom ear, towards the top hand, looking to the right. Now flip the tail, take the tail out bring it through the core of your body, bring the backs of your hands together, and reach your tail out to the side, follow with the eyes the movement of the hands. Bring your dragon tail forward, rotate your palms to face the sky, hang the head back. Dragon medicine, so good for a time like this when the timelines are shifting. Push the pelvis softly, to the left. This is so good for our digestive system. Drop your right ear towards the top hand. Now flip the tail, take the tail out. Bring the back of the hands together as the tail tip moves through the core gate of the body. Take the tail to the right and back forward. Palms of the hands facing up, drop your head back. Hmm. Look forward, palms of the hands joining. Pelvis moving to the right. Tuck the dragon tail underneath your left ear. Now flip the tail, take it forward. Bring the back of the hands together as you take it through the core gate of your body. Out to the side. Mm. And forward. <sighs> Palms of the hands facing up. Hanging the head back. And looking forward. Now just simmer in it for a moment here, recognizing as the timelines are shifting that we are meant to thrive beyond our stories. The collective story, the individual traumas, the heartbreak, whatever it is that may uh, be making you feel like or has been making you feel like you're stuck in the platitudes of being uh, uninspired or unhealthy or broken or broke. Ah, we are designed to thrive beyond the stories. So step the left leg in and then the right leg in and ground the hands to face the earth. Slowly bring the hands down. 
And the first step, the first step in shifting the humdrum of the status quo, the lazy boy chair, the first step is to change our stories, right? This is, this is core in our work in APT. So feel the field, as Tim was talking about. The expanded field is just right there, right? Feel yourself in the expanded field where the new story is awaiting you. It's the story with the greater emotional va-voom. The story that will lift you up and out of the, long, the latitude and the longitude and into and onto your legacy path. So this is about, you know, it's harnessing our breakthrough stories. Bring your right hand to the back of your right kidney. Standing up full stature, self-organized, remembering your power and your inner authority. And take the left hand to the right. Take it nice and low, twisting through the right kidney. Now we'll pass the right hand with the palm facing up at the midline. So slow, feel the big toes grounding, the balls of the feet grounding, and a lightness underneath the heels. Twisting on the axis of the spine, take the left arm up on high. Beautiful. Now take the left arm on high through center. Twisting again on the axis. Now rotate your left palm to face the sky and push down through the feet to push up through the left palm. Now tip back through. Greater emotional va -voom. Good, now come back through to center. Rotate the left hand so the outer edge of it is kind of cutting through space and moving into the field in front of you. And slowly, Pull the light of the stars. This is the plucking stars variation. Pull the light of the stars, first and foremost, into the left palm, and then down into the field of your belly. Open both hands, palms facing the earth. Floss through the wrists for a moment, both of them simultaneously. And place the back of the left hand at the left kidney. Take the right hand low as you twist. And the stories we tell ourselves begin to change. Passing through the midline, right palm up. When the stories we tell ourselves change, then the stories we tell each other begin to change. And then we begin to change the world through our stories. On high, pass the right hand through the speckled sky of light. Now rotate your right palm to face the sky. Palm up, push down into the large space beneath your body through the balls of both feet. Push up through the palm of the right hand and then tip back and trust. Mm. Trust how you are connected to everything and everything is connected to you and the universe is organizing around your success, orient to face forward. Draw the blade edge, the outer edge of your right hand forward. We have the support of nature to in every way that we wish to and want to and are willing to emerge to birth fresh, extraordinary, meaningful new pathways informed by vision and meaning and purpose and usefulness and velocity and alchemy, both arms out, all 
palms facing the ground. And then palms to the heart. So we've spent these past few minutes speaking our original language, body language, and the mother tongue common to all beings. So listen and with the ear of the heart, look inward with the eye of the heart to notice your, what your breakthrough story is that wants to be carried globally forward as the timelines are shifting. Write it down, ponder it, discuss it, manifest it. Feeling your belly and feeling your heart and feeling your head and openness and an availability of space, a sincerity in the space. It is formless, a sincerity to step forth, to go out into the world with sincerity to go out in the world in search of evidence that this breakthrough story of yours is already alive, waiting to co-create and participate with you in ways that you didn't even know, didn't, couldn't even imagine prior to this moment could be possible. facing the ground. Inhale. 